We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic, and in this clip, I'll cover actress Candy Clark. She was in director George Lucas's 1973 film, American Graffiti, and she received an Academy Award nomination for this performance for Best Supporting Actress. Received another Best Supporting Actress nomination for a part in The Man Who Fell to Earth in 1976. Her co-star in this was rock and roll musician David Bowie. She was in John Huston's Fat City, 1972. Horror movies... Annieville 3D in 1983 and Cat's Eye 1985. All right, this is my second video on actress Candy Clark. In the original one, I thought she may resemble movie director George Lucas, musician David Bowie, and possibly actor Warwick Davis, all involved in Labyrinth in 1986. I took another look at Candy Clark. In the movie The Big Sleep in 1978, I thought Candy Clark resembled actor Christopher Reeve and possibly James Coburn. The connection between Reeve and Coburn, it's through The Great Escape film series. The 1963 movie had James Coburn in it. And the Great Escape is also supposedly based on a true story. A fictional made-for-television movie, The Great Escape 2, The Untold Story, aired on NBC in 1988. And actor Christopher Reeve had the main part in this. Yeah, I thought it may be easy to connect Candy Clark to Christopher Reeve via director George Lucas who almost directed Superman or at least had an opportunity. Both Reeve and Candy Clark were in separate episodes of Shelley Duvall's Fairy Tale Theater, which was broadcast on the Showtime Cable Television Network in America from 1982 until 1987. Reeve was in the episode Sleeping Beauty with Bernadette Peters and Beverly D'Angelo. Renee Aberjonois was also in this. Candy Clark was in the first episode, The Tale of the Frog Prince, and other actors in the cast of this were Robin Williams, uh, Terry Garr, again, Renee Aberjonois, and Michael Richards, directed by Eric Iver. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television. From the past, I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.